LT, we knew that this was a possibility, and now that it's actually come to fruition, how are you feeling? I feel for the fans, Dan. Um, you know, I think I can say I, I was at the height of, of that franchise's success at the time where, you know, the stadium was packed. Everybody, you know, was so excited about the Chargers. The atmosphere was electric during games. Um, and so I saw that. I saw the passion from the fans. Um, and so I, I know they're heartbroken. I know that they're disappointed and all of those kinds of things. But I'll say this, Dan. You know, loyal Charger fans, they still have the opportunity to go see their, their team. You know, I know it's not in their hometown, but certainly it's a, it's a drive up, up the coastline to still go see the team that they love, that they've been loyal to. Um, that's what I, that's my message, my message to, to those fans. LT, we, we have a couple of our other teammates here who played for the Rams and won a Super Bowl with the Rams and Kurt Warner and Marshall Falk, and they've experienced the move from St. Louis to Los Angeles. For you, I know you live in Dallas now, but you spent the bulk of your playing career in San Diego. Does, does it feel like you don't really have a home anymore in terms of, of going back, or are you going to be fully comfortable here and, and attending the Chargers games here? You know, that's a tough one, Dan. I, I feel like, um, you know, because I played in San Diego, that's going to always be, you know, my home. I, I, I love that community. I love those people there in San Diego. Um, you know, but w with that said, I am a Charger. I I wore that helmet. I wore that uniform. Um, and certainly, I, you know, I, I support the franchise. I will be remembered as a, as a charger, albeit playing in San Diego, but still a charger. And so uh, I'm going to support that team. But at the same time, I'm also going to continue to still support that community in San Diego. LT, you grew up in Texas. Uh, high school football, obviously very big in Texas. Some of the high school football stadiums in Texas, bigger than where the Chargers are going to be <laughs> playing the next couple of years at the StubHub Center in Carson, California. What do you think that would be like if you were getting ready for a game and there are only 30,000 fans there? It is going to be a very unique experience for the fans, but from a player's perspective, what do you think that would be like? Well, I think it could be interesting. I think it could make uh, for an intimate setting, if you will, meaning that that place gets crowded and it's packed and it gets loud, you know, standing room only. It can become a very special place for a couple of years. Um you know, uh, I'm thinking they shouldn't have a problem selling out 30,000. You know, I, I think that has to vote well for, for ticket sales. Um, you know, but I, I think, man, I'm telling you, I think it can be a place that could become special because it's only 30,000. But if you ever been to, to the StubHub Center, um, it, it's, it's, you know, the fans sit right on you. And so... Um, it, it can get pretty loud in there, and I, I think it can be very exciting. 